a new species of killer whale has just been discovered. Now, just been discovered is kind of a loaded thing. Um, these guys have been around for a while and we've known about them. It's not like we've never seen this animal before, but a lot like how we just discovered a new species of anaconda, there are so many different groups of them, like subgroups, like they eat different things, they have different cultures, they have different ranges, they have different sizes, some are really big, some are really small, you know, relatively speaking for killer whales but out of all of these animals they're all considered orcas they all have the same scientific name orcinus orca but due to some research and genetic testing there is now conclusive evidence that they are not all the same and we're going to go over that today I feel like that was a little better than normal until I had to color it in. Just in case you didn't know, I purposefully draw really bad for these. All right, so this came from NOAA, which is what, the National Ocean and Air, Air the, 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 I don't remember what exactly it stand for, but they do a lot of research on stuff. It says new research reveals full diversity of killer whales as two species come into view on Pacific coast. Long viewed as one worldwide species, killer whale diversity now merits more. Southern resident connections. So um, the two species now are going to be the resident and the bigs. Okay. So the main difference between the two of them is that the resident lives in a smaller range and they eat fish like that's that's what they like salmon and stuff like that they, they're they're more pescatarians the bigs the bigs are the ones that go out and eat seals and all sorts of stuff and then they also are called transient they travel pretty large distances and but they do interact with each other but they do not commingle Scientists have resolved one of the outstanding questions about one of the world's most recognizable creatures, identifying two well-known killer whales in the North Pacific Ocean as separate species. Killer whales are one of the most widespread animals on Earth, um, with different forms in various regions known as ecotypes. However, biologists have increasingly recognized the difference between resident and bigs killer whales. Resident killer whales maintain tight-knit family pods and prey on salmon, and other marine fish big killer whale bigs killer whales roam in small groups preying on other marine mammals such as seals and whales killer whales actually belong to the dolphin family bigs killer whales sometimes called transients are named for canadian scientist michael big the first to describe telltale differences between the two types he noted in the 70s that the two animals did not mix with each other even the, when they occupied many of the same coastal waters. This is often a sign of different species. So this has been something that has been talked about for a very long time. Um, distinct differences between the groups of orcas has been talked about for years, but not, not enough research was really done into it. The finding recognized the accuracy of the listing of southern resident orca whales as a distinct population segment warranting protection under the Endangered Species Act in 2005. At the time, NOAA described the distinct population segment as part of an unnamed subspecies of resident killer whale in the northern North Pacific. Now, a team of scientists from NOAA fisheries and universities have assembled genetic, physical, and behavioral evidence. The data distinguishes two of the killer whale ecotypes of the northern or North Pacific coast, residents and bigs as separate species, not subspecies, but separate species. Gen this is important. Genetic data from the previous studies revealed that the two species likely diverged more than 300,000 years ago and come from opposite ends of the killer whale family tree. That makes them about as genetically different as any killer whale ecotypes around the globe. Subsequent studies of genomic data confirm that they have evolved as genetically and culturally distinct groups which occupy different niches in the same northwest marine ecosystem 
They're the most different killer whales in the world, and they live right next to each other and see each other all the time, said Barbara Taylor, a former NOAA Fisheries marine mammal biologist who was part of the science panel that assembled the status of southern residents. They just do not mix. Think about it like this. That would be like us, humans, homo sapiens, still seeing Neanderthals walking around today. I hate to use the word uncanny valley if you've seen any of my shorts. Again, this is literally their uncanny valley. It's them, but it's not quite them. There's something a little different about them. They look so similar just based on appearance. And then when you really look at it, you're like, oh no, they're not. They're not the same at all. They they just have same similar colorations. You know, 300,000 years ago, that's longer than modern day humans have been around. That's roughly 200,000 years ago. So these guys separated farther than humans have been around. That is nuts. So it says the Taxonomy Committee of the Society of Marine Mammalogy will determine whether to recognize a new species in its official list of marine mammal species. Uh, the committee will likely determine whether to accept the new designation at its next annual review this summer. So this isn't 100% official yet but it's looking like it might be pretty close. Now, here's the thing that um, kind of made me think a little bit, and people have talked about this. What is the difference between a species and a subspecies? Why are these two separate species and not subspecies? And that's, it's tricky because there's not really a good answer for that. Um, a species is a population or group of populations that can potentially interbreed freely within and among themselves. Okay, so it's a, a species can interbreed freely. A subspecies is a subgroup within a species that has different traits and is defined by scientists. So it just means it's a little different than the rest of the group, but they can also interbreed. A species has a name composed of two parts, a binomial name or binomial. So the names are like, so, a, a species, when they scientifically name it, is just two names. A subspecies has three names. So the two names of the main species plus the subspecies, like uh, the domesticated dog, a subspecies, a wolf. So Canis lupus would be the wolf. Canis lupus familiaris would be the dog. They can all breed with each other. So it's it's really weird. So if these are two distinct species, I believe what they're trying to say is that they can't breed with each other, but it doesn't go into detail about that. So I gotta look that up. So from my understanding of what I'm reading right now, it's just saying the same thing, that they are two separate species and not just different races. So sometimes they use races, I think, interchangeably with subspecies, but, um, Despite living in the same water, Biggs found that the two, or Big found that the two whales never mixed with each other. I believe that that's what they mean. They don't interbreed, from my understanding, or at least they haven't attempted to. I'm not sure. It's kind of ambiguous, so I'm not sure. This is a lot of interesting stuff that uh, I can't wait to find out more about in the future. So I'm sure as time goes on, more research will be done and more information regarding like if there's even more species, which it wouldn't surprise me because there's so many different like subgroups of orcas. If this is its own thing, I'm sure the other ones are their own thing, or at least maybe they're just more separated along these same lines. Maybe they're subgroups of these other species. I guess only time will tell with that. But regardless, let me know what you think down below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff as always. I'm gonna try to do more of these types of videos as well as trying to expand a little bit. I'm trying different things. Got some podcast stuff coming up I'm excited about. All sorts of stuff. I wanna hear from you guys what you guys want to see. Do you want me to do some in the field stuff? Do you want me to do, which I'm going to be doing that regardless, but is that something you guys really want? Or do you want more videos like this? Or is there something else you want? Just let me know down below what you want me to try to do, and I will do my best to do them. But thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.